Hello guys, my name is Fonian and welcome back to my channel where we play indie games from around the internet. So today we're playing Coffee Talk and we start right now. Yes. Game by Toge Productions. Seattle, 2020. Hey, it's this year. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between the races is but a footnote in history. Hmm, okay. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. Mohamed Fadmi and Andrew Jeremy. Oh, okay. Oh, there are elves in this game. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. Huh. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires? Okay. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. Okay, so this is like a, a modern day fantasy. <laughs> and when humans live among them, as driven as ever. Oh, that girl, yeah. That elf girl over there is a waifu material. <laughs> I'm pointing it out right now. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Okay. Most of these stories are left untold. But some views find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. Hmm. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. Hey, that's the title of the game. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. Huh. And these are their stories. Okay. I mean, the art style in this game is gorgeous. I like it. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. It's in the future, guys. Okay, so... Welcome. Oh, it's you. Hey, hon. How's the night so far? Freya. Okay. I th assume she's a human? It's calm, as usual. We've got a slight problem though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set up things up first. You're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So, I'm so I'm used to taking things slow. Heh, <laughs> writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Ah, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Okay, so um, okay, so you said a triple uh, espresso, triple shot. Oh, coffee, coffee, and coffee. How do I can? Okay, I'm. Mm. So, I'm assuming coffee, coffee, and coffee. Yeah, brew. Okay. 
Man, I want to have coffee right now. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It is not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot do laugh. Uh, did I say something wrong? No, no you were right. Is that something I should have done? What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whisper? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they also the the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presents itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? I'm sorry. My phone, let's adjust it. Well, I bump into one of the big guys in the elevator, so naturally I pitch my book idea. Hmm. 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 Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it. I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Thankfully. He'd seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for publishing deal. That sounds great. Yeah. What about your job at the Evening Whisper? You have the time to do both. That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind on newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Oh, wow. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh, <laughs> uh, I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero? Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Uh, well, it was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. No, don't, don't do that. I mean, you can... Ah. You know, I may have not been, in real life, I may not have been uh, the best writer, but I know that deleting stuff that you create is not good. So, you know, you can just review it, you know, you can improvise on it. Just don't delete your history just like that. So, uh, anyway, so, uh, zero? Huh, yes. I really need to finish it in, at, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best stories here, you know. Really? Well, glad this space could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Hmm. Welcome. 
All right, so I'm going to end this part right here. The next part should be up in three days' time. But uh, until then, guys, thank you so much for your time. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe so you can see more indie game playthroughs. Uh, don't forget to check out Coffee Talk. Uh, it is actually out right now on Steam, and I'll see you guys later.